Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video. I got it. I finally got it. The Twisted Ones graphic novel, and let me just say, before we get too far into the intro, this is amazing. <laughs> no words at all can describe how god dang amazing this graphic novel is. Please go buy it. This is... Again, amazing. I'll show a few pages. I don't want to show all of it because, you know, I want you guys to go support Scott, the artist, you know, everyone that worked on making this thing a possible. Editing Johnny Box, I'm jumping in here to translate what the hell recording Johnny Box just said. He said, making this thing a possible. What I think he means is making this thing a possibility or making this thing possible. Who knows? He's, he's kind of a nut job. So hopefully, we can get the fourth closet to look as good as this does. Not not at all trying to discredit the work um, from the first graphic novel by, I believe it was Pinky Pills. This is still, again, I still really like this graphic novel. But oh boy, I, oh boy. So thank you so much for clicking on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Boom, there's some analytics. Maybe it'll encourage you to subscribe, hopefully. And smash the like button and let's talk about this book. So the graphic novel of The Twisted Ones is now out. It came out yesterday on the 2nd. And as you can see right there, The Twisted Ones. That book was released a couple years ago. I don't remember exactly when, maybe like 2016-ish. And we finally have a graphic novel version of the book. And let me just say again, I, I can't describe how absolutely amazing this graphic novel is. The amount of work that was put into the illustrations is amazing. It, it truly is amazing what they managed to do here with this book. You can really see the emotions of the characters through the pages now. Which, as someone who has not read the story of the Twisted Ones basically ever since the book came out a couple years ago, it was, it was, it felt really nice to go through the book again and really see the emotions behind the characters now. Because when you're reading the book in your head, you can only picture what they're feeling, how they would react to certain scenarios, and this book really did that justice. You can really see the terror, the surprise, the enjoyment, the the tenderness between certain characters, if you know what I mean. And also like subtle changes like clothing throughout the book, right? I was looking through it just now, um, and Jessica changed outfits briefly a couple of times, just subtle changes though, but enough that they're noticeable. And like when John, <clears throat> and like when John met up with Charlie while he was walking, he was wearing his, you know, construction uniform. That's good detail right there. The designs of the Twisted Ones are, again, amazing. The design of Springtrap, Willie Mafton, David, whatever you want to call them, absolutely spectacular as well. Even the OG gang of Footy Bonnie and Chica and Foxy, I nearly forgot Foxy right there, show up as well and they too look pretty good. I did notice, however, that the Let's Eat on Chica's bib was red, which I believe was something that appeared in the first graphic novel as well, so I don't know if this new artist was using the last one as reference. I just don't know, but like, plenty of endoskeletons show up in the, in the graphic novel. They look amazing, the detail on them is spectacular. A couple of toys show up like Ella and Theodore and Stanley, they too look amazing. And the backgrounds and the characters, oh dude, it just looks so good. There's really not much else I can say besides this book was so good. If you, if you have not read the Twisted Ones and usually don't like reading long books, get this, I swear to you, you will very much enjoy this. Again, I'm not trying to discredit the work of Pinky, who illustrated the first graphic novel. I'm just saying that I think for the good of the community, and again, I'm trying not to sound like a giant jerk here, for the good of the community, this new art approach is definitely the way to go. I am honestly really looking forward to the fourth closet graphic novel now. Now, granted, that may take a little bit to release, probably like late next year, um, though that's not confirmed, we don't even know that they are making one, though I presume that they are, you know, I'm, I'm guessing that they will. Seeing as there are three books in the trilogy, you know, that's why it's a trilogy, um, and they only have one more left to do, I really hope they continue with this artist. I think they did an amazing job. Again, like I said at the beginning, I'm not gonna show all the pages, I'm gonna go through and I'll show a few pages up on screen while I talk, just because I want to get the point across just how good this graphic novel is. Of course, not showing the whole thing because, uh, you know, if you enjoy the illustrations, go out and buy the book, show 
the support for Scott, for the illustrator, for Scholastic, everyone that worked on the book, to show them like like this this was a good graphic novel. It really is. Um, and I, I've never really had to do this before, but I literally cannot put into words how amazing this graphic novel is. So if you have a store near you that sells books, like a Barnes & Noble or some other bookseller store, go see if they have this book, go buy it. Even if you wanna, you know, just reread the, the Twisted Ones, it's a nice condensed version of the book. As well as getting some great illustrations to go along with the story. Again, there's really not much else I can say, everything is just beautiful honestly I could like keep looking through this book I can keep saying this book is really good go out and buy it but I'd rather not make that the whole video even though that's kind of what it is I, I definitely do see myself going back and looking through this book all the time just because again it looks so good and really that's all I can say because that is just the truth really that's 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 it. It's it's just so good. So I'll try not to take too much of your time up with this video because really all I'm saying is that it's good and go and buy it and making that into an eight minute video. Well, a good idea definitely is very cheap and tedious. So I'm sorry about that. But really, that's all I can say. It's amazing. Please go buy it. Let's let's sh let's show some support. So hopefully the, the fourth closet, the final book, can be just as good as this one. And again, I mean no harm towards Pinky. I think, again, I really do like this original graphic novel, but the new art style is just chef's kiss. So yeah, um, I'm very excited to see where they go in the future with the graphic novels, if they're gonna go back to Pinky, because if you didn't know, she was offered to illustrate for the Twisted Ones, uh, but as it turns out, she just, she's having a baby. Congratulations, Pinky, if you're watching this. So I think that's maybe why she declined, and that's why Scott had to find new artists, though that's not confirmed. But yeah, I'm intrigued to see where they go from here on out. A lot of exciting videos coming out this week. Boys, tomorrow, the return to FNAF A, or it seems like we're getting some skins, unfortunately, but... It's a Lumix, what, do, what did we expect? And then, yeah, I'll cap out the week on Friday with a video talking about FNAF X Fortnite because apparently a lot of people want to see that for some reason, even though not many people are excited about it. So I'm so confused if people want that video or not, but I'm going to make it anyways. So thanks so much for watching. Sorry for making an eight minute video about a book saying it's good and go buy it. <laughs> but really, again, that's all I can say. So thanks for watching uh, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.